This picture is showing how Europe had colonized South Africa. But then Europe gave South Africa independence in 1910. The blacks in South Africa didn't have complete freedom though. While many people think South Africa to be all black, there were whites there too because of the European settlers. Something called apartheid happened though. The whites were the highest race and a group of them were called Boers. They were racist and didn't give the other races equal rights. The order of highest race to lowest race was mainly the following categories. White, Asian, and then black. But don't lose hope yet. There were people who were trying to stop apartheid. One of these people was Nelson Mandela. He is still alive today but is very old. Nelson Mandela was a black fighting for the equal rights for blacks. He was the president of the A.N.C. We have a deal for you. What is this deal you speak of? We'll let you out of prison for life, but it's mandatory for you to stop your acts against apartheid. I decline that offer. Fine, then it looks like you'll be in prison for the rest of your life. W. D. Clerk was not allowed to speak out against apartheid. But that was going to change because of the fact he was against the act of apartheid. After F. W. D. Clerk was elected as president, he gave a speech calling for a non racist South Africa. Today, I would like to welcome a special host. He's from the World Class Channel and he is brilliant. Welcome our host, Aaron. Thank you for the welcoming, it's an honor to be here. And now, first up tonight we have the Nobel Peace Prize. Now it comes down to this, who is it? And now the moment of truth, this year's Nobel Peace Prize winner is, Nelson Mandela. Friends, colleagues, I would like to thank you for nominating me for the Nobel Peace Prize. I've worked all my life to end racial discrimination in Africa. I spent 27 years in jail, just to get the blacks the rights they deserved. And if anyone asked me, I'd do it all again. The road to equality in South Africa was a long and troublesome one, but we never gave up. Not once did we ever doubt that we would be free. Never did we lose hope and give in to the white government. Instead, we pushed and pushed until the racial wells crumbled. Then we worked to rebuild the non-racial boundaries and begin to heal a deep dash in Africa's history. It took a long time but everyone was willing to try and build a new Africa. A better Africa with no racism. This Africa wasn't just for us, but the future generations to come. I would like to end this speech by saying just because it's easy to give up doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. It just means that you don't want to turn up to keep trying. Mr. Mandela is waiting for you. Thanks, Story. Thank you Mr. Mandela for coming here to meet me. It's an honor, 
for me to be allowed to interview you. You are welcome. I'm glad I could make it. So, what motivated you to stand up against apartheid? Well considering I'm an African American, I wanted to have equal rights for my people and not be treated any differently because of the color of my skin. Can I get you guys anything to drink? No thank you. Okay, let me know if you need anything. Okay. Do you think after spending 27 years in jail like you did, that it was worth it just to end apartheid? It was completely worth it. Not a doubt goes through my mind. Did you ever lose hope during the whole process? I never lost hope but there were times where I wondered if I'd get out of prison. I was for sure though that the part time would end, after the example I set. What is your overall opinion of apartheid, and what it cost? Well, it should have never happened in the first place. It was a sad thing it did because everyone was created equally and we should go about life like that, without racism. I know though that life can't be perfect, and that there will still be racism, but it should never get to that extreme. I just hope the future generations to come will take my example and not let racism go to that level, but as they say, history repeats itself. You have, no doubt, created a perfect example. You impacted the world and made a change for what you believed in, we will be forever grateful. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Do you have an inspiration? Yes, I do. Gandhi inspired me and then Martin Luther King Jr. did too. I think they would be proud of you. So, last question. If you saw something like apartheid happening today, what would you do? I would, once again, stand up for what I believed in and go against it non-violently. Thank you very much for allowing me to interview you. You're welcome. Like, oh, my, gosh, look at those jeans. I wouldn't even pay for them with half the price. A K.R. I mean, just look at them for crying out loud. I'd be caught dead in them. They're not even designer brand. We interrupt this program for an important bull- We have interrupted the program you were watching due to some very upsetting news. Nelson Mandela, just passed away. Let him rest in peace. We have an obituary for Nelson Mandela. Please stay tuned to watch it.